Hello, my name is Kayleen. If you are new here, if you're not, welcome back to my channel. We are on day five of our flexibility work, and I thought we would, you know, take it gently, gentle, G gently today, whatever the word is. Slow it down a little bit, just calm it down. It's not gonna be anything intense today. I feel like we've had four days of pretty decent stretching that today we can just do something light because it's better to just do a little bit than to not do anything at all. And I also wanted to have a shorter video just in case some of you are short on time. Sometimes you don't want a 30 minute stretch. And with all that said, I'm gonna stop blabbering on so that we can get into the actual stretch. Okay, so we're actually gonna start just how we are here. We're gonna do a glute stretch. So you're gonna bring one leg over the other. Let's bring our left leg on top of the right. First, I just want you to twist your spine to the left nice and long through that head. And we're gonna twist to the other side now. And back to center. Now let's reach forward. Just a couple little baby walks of the hand out to the front. Nice deep breath in, and then breathe out. See if you can go a little bit further down. And come back up. Let's switch our legs. Right leg over the left, and let's take a nice twist to the right. And then switch, twist it over to the left. And now facing front, stretching forward. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, try and walk your hands further down on the floor. Okay, let's come up out of that. What should we do now? Why don't we come into a pike? So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. I have my legs straight out in front of me. I'm gonna reach nice, long and tall up through my fingertips and then over forward fold. See if you can lengthen your spine a little bit here. Almost feeling like you're trying to create space between the vertebrae and your spine. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, try and reach a little bit further down. Let's come up. I want you to grab onto your left foot with your right hand. And you're gonna bring it up toward your chest keeping that back nice and long. And if you'd like, you can extend your left arm out to the side. Maybe gaze over those fingers, open up the chest. Taking another deep breath here. And as you exhale, let's put it down. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, grabbing onto our foot, bringing it up. Stretching the other arm out if you'd like. And then releasing it down. Okay, let's go ahead and slowly make our way into a little bit of a pigeon pose here, but actually 
let's not pigeon, let's switch it up. Let's do a Z sit. So I'm actually, I'm gonna do my other legs so that you can see it a little bit better here. So you're in a Z sit, which looks like this. It's like a pigeon, but with your back leg, both legs bent. I don't know why I had like a, I glitched there for a second. Okay, so both legs are bent and we're just gonna hold here because this already might be a little bit of a challenge for some of you. If it's not, you can reach forward over that front leg. Take a deep breath in and let's switch our legs. Z sit on the other side. I'm gonna reach forward over my front leg. And let's come up. Shake those legs out just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and slowly make our way up. I know, I said gentle stretch, but we still gotta do some of the main big boys like a lunge. Let's do a lunge on the right. Why don't we make this a little more fun today though, instead of keeping that hand just down and on our knee, let's reach our right arm up toward the ceiling, toward the sky, open up the chest. and bring it back down. You can stay here or you can drop your back knee down. Put your hands on your front knee. And let's go ahead and come back to the lunge. Straighten that leg up. So you're in this little triangle looking thing. You're hanging heavy over your right leg. Deep breath in. As you exhale, see if you can come closer to that leg. And then let's do a nice twist to the center and just hang here in the middle. Perfect opportunity to check on your breathing. Get the oxygen that your muscles need. And let's twist over to the other side. So twist to your left. Hanging heavy over that leg. And then we're gonna drop it down to a lunge. You can stay here with your hand on your knee or you can bring that left arm up toward the ceiling. Reaching nice and long. And I'm coming back down now, dropping my back knee. I'm just gonna push forward into that hip. Bring it back to a lunge. Straighten that leg up. And then this is kind of a weird transition, but we're gonna go to a downward dog. So you're gonna take that front foot and shoot it back and get into downward dog. 
I want to do this one because I feel like we haven't been stretching our calves nearly enough. So you can pedal your feet, which would mean you bend one leg and then switch, bend the other, or you can stay stationary. Even if you are staying stationary, try and bring those hips high into the air. Press the heels down into the ground. Press the palms down through the floor, like still have energy through the movement. And now let's pull it forward into a plank for just a second and then lower yourself down however you wish. It can be fancy. Do a little push up, but stretch that back out. I don't know why my legs end up so far apart when I do this one. Deep breath in, reaching the crown of the head toward the sky. And then coming back up and back, come into a neutral spine here. So your hands are right under your shoulders. I want you to take one arm, maybe take your right arm first. Lace it underneath your left and through. So you're stretching out the back, the upper spine. And you might need to adjust your body a little bit to where it feels good. And just hold here for a few breaths. And coming up. We're gonna do that on the other side now. So threading our left arm through under the right. Nice big breaths. And slowly coming up. Let's bring it back into our downward dog. Walk our hands and our feet together till they meet. That just rhymed. Hang down heavy here over your legs. And then very, very slowly, you're gonna bring your body up, rolling through from the base of the spine all the way up to standing. So your head should be the last thing to come up. Thank you for joining me on this stretch today. Hopefully it was a good little gentle, refreshing end to your workout or your day, or just maybe you started your day with this. I don't know. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out, supports me, and helps me to keep making beautiful videos for you. Well, I don't know if they're beautiful. That's kind of tooting my own horn. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and make sure to check out some of my other videos while you're at it. Hope to have you back for tomorrow's video and that you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.